Now, if you're a running back, you might want to close your ears for this next couple minutes because this whole offseason has been marred with the, the disparity between the positions and the money and the CBA and everything that's going on and the inflated salary cap that the RVs are not getting a piece of because they got to pay these quarterbacks. And they are. This offseason has also been all about throwback jerseys and massive quarterback deals. And this is what happened yesterday afternoon. Let's take a look. I was excited to see it. I love this kid. Justin Herbert and the Chargers, they agreed on a five-year, $262.5 million extension, making him the highest paid quarterback in the league on a per-year basis. Uh, it was his time. It's called the market, people. Micro-econ, okay? Uh, v, v, D, O, O, or no, V, O, O, economics. What do they say in Ferris Bueller? I can't remember the line now. What is it? V, voodoo. Voodoo economics. All right, let me do the math for you on that number. That's 52.5 million per year. I didn't do the math, Hamilton did, but that's a big number. And despite what some people might think or might want you to believe, I think he's worth every penny for Los Angeles and this Chargers organization. Yeah, we've seen plenty. <laughs> Show it to me, give it to me, take it Justin! Herbie, Herbie, let's go. I've seen this highlight a million times. This is worth the money, okay? It's mind blowing. He's got tons of throws like this one. But I do, I'm just gonna say it. I think we have yet to see his best football. I'm gonna try to get out there to that Chargers camp at Costa Mesa, wherever Costa Mesa might be. And I wanna watch him do his thing. And while some of you may say, how do you pay, pay him anything or nearly that much or make him and break him off and give him the bag and the brink truck and all those metaphors that people are using that I'm not cool enough to understand what they even mean. How can you do that when he hasn't won a playoff game? Well, I say, and I maintain, that he willed this Chargers team to the playoffs in a loaded AFC with fractured ribs and a bum shoulder. Okay, we've seen improvement year to year from him. What else do you want? You want a leap, you want growth, you want some consistency and progress. That should make every Chargers fan and everybody in that building feel secure. I've said this on the show before. I never feel mo more secure than when there's progress. Think about when you're on a diet, people. Think about when you lose those first three pounds and you lose enough and you keep going and you get stronger. That's how we should be looking at Justin Herbert. All the faith, nothing else. And I'm joyful to have him in the fold over the next five years. And by the way, the more we learn about how this deal is put together and structured, the more I like it. There's this guy who probably has an abacus uh, and he sits at his desk and crunches the numbers. His name is Jason Fitzgerald. He is a salary cap whiz over at overthecap.com. And he tweeted this morning that Herbert won't carry a cap hit above 38 mil over the next three years. So if you're bad at math like me, here's what it means. The Chargers will have a ton of flexibility to keep stars, because that's, that's what we care about, right? They can keep the likes of Bosa, they can keep Khalil Mack, they can keep Keenan Allen in the fold as they make their push in the AFC for Lombardi over these next few seasons. And now that you signed Herbert and he can not worry about it, maybe not even the better news, but I don't have a picture of him in here, huh, do I? Mm, not that guy. No, Joe Burrow. All eyes are on Joe Burrow. This is the best thing. The last quarterback domino to drop that we've been waiting to sort of fall this offseason. And I would imagine they're close. I would imagine it's probably coming soon. And I don't know this on any authority, but if I was Burrow or advising Burrow in his camp, I'm sure they were, I would imagine, they were waiting out Herbert. That's what you do. And that's the name of the game. It's just, it's not who's best, it's who's next, people. So the way the comps are in place and they can ensure he'll be moving to the top of this list with, I mean, a deal, it's gotta be what, 53 million per year or more? By the way, if you're wondering where Patrick Mahomes is here, he's dropped to eighth at 45 million per season. So he'll move down to ninth once Burrow signs his extension. So you'd have to think that will be corrected here at some point when this dust settles. It was a great deal for Mahomes and the Chiefs organization, but he can't move out of that top 10. He can't keep moving down and down and down. They're gonna renegotiate and refigure it for the two-time Super Bowl winner. Okay, so congrats to Herbert.